Good morning, everyone. I wanted to ask um, everyone to just take a moment and tune into your heart. And, like Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out from the heart center. And just notice if your breath feels any differently right now or if just the energy around your heart feels any different right now. I've been noticing this pattern the last week or so with a number of my clients and just people in general when I'm out and about, that the energy around the heart seems to be um, really affected right now. And I have a couple theories on this, which some people are not going to appreciate. <laughs> um, but it feels to me almost like the energy at the heart chakra is at this pre-transitionary point for a lot of people before it inverts. And we want that energy to be free-flowing, you know? Our heart is is the, the one of the most powerful organs in the body and in our energetic chakra system because the heart allows us to really um, push out and generate our electromagnetic field. And our electromagnetic field is what contributes to our aura, which contributes to our energetic field. And that's how we receive and share information with the world around us, with the people around us. And we know that that energy field, it moves through the center of the body. It's kind of like a big donut that comes um, up and out both sides of the body. And there's an opening right in the crown of the head, and then there's an opening at the base of the body. And it's this motion that allows energy to come in and out. But it's the heart the heart is really powerful in moving that energy, in supporting that energy. And, and here's a little tidbit. Do you know how, on average, how far out a human's energy field goes? Six feet. So the heart is the most powerful electromagnetic frequency um, generator in the body, right? It's 5,000 times more powerful than the mind. And we have been conditioned to believe that the mind is this really powerful tool, which it is. But when we can take the thoughts and emotions that we have in our mind and bring them down into our heart with feeling and bring that emotion and that energy down into the heart and we share that with the world, that is going to amplify things that much more. So when we see issues around the heart we see um, some major concerns because A, we all know the heart is associated with love. So we need the heart energy to be clear in order to receive love in our lives, in order to give love in our lives, in order to have really beautiful relationships. And, you know, humanity is based on relationships. When we look at children and how children learn, children learn and adults learn socially. We learn by interacting with other people. We learn through relationship and that relationship is with other human beings it's with other animals it's with plants the whole environment around us so we need that heart energy to be able to give and receive clearly and we need the energy to be moving in the appropriate direction the other thing that we need is for the energy of the heart to be strong so that as our energy moves through the world it is powerful it is confident it is sovereign so when the energy in the heart becomes congested, we don't have that confidence or that strength of energy, which means that if we don't have an amplitude of energy coming from our heart, we are more easily influenced by the energy around us. So if, for example, if I have a really strong heart and I have um, a pattern of being in a place of calm or love or joy or happiness, and my amplitude, my energetic heart center is strong and pumping. When I go out to the grocery store, that energy is going to vibrate in the environment around me. And what we find from the quantum physics side of things is that whoever has the loudest energy, whoever has the highest amplitude of energy, influences the vibration, the frequency of the cells in the environment around them. So if I'm in a place of love and I have a high amplitude, my heart is strong, and I come across other people who um, have a lower amplitude, and it only needs to be by one hertz, one little degree, one little volume less. If I'm in love and they're in grief, but I'm louder, I can cause their cells to vibrate in love. But the reverse can also be true. So if I'm in a state of peace, but my amplitude is lower, 
than the person that is beside me in that grocery store. And they have a high amplitude, but their energy, their emotion is anger. My cells are going to vibrate in anger. So it's really important right now for our heart energy to be clear and for it to be strong and for us to have the ability to move into these emotions of unity, of love, of compassion, of empathy. And when you look out into the world from an energetic standpoint, so yes, there's lots of political things happening. Yes, there's lots of other things happening. Let's just set all those aside. Look at it purely from an energetic standpoint. The energetic effect of a lot of these measures that are being in place are affecting the heart. So what I'm finding is when we have certain parts of our body covered, I'll leave it at that, you would think that it would affect the throat chakra if we're covering, you know, the lower part of the face and the neck region. You'd think that it would affect the throat chakra, which is where we communicate our truth, and it does. However, when oxygen intake is reduced, where does that oxygen move into the body? It moves into the lungs, okay? And where are the lungs associated? Around the heart, okay? I want to be very clear on this because there, yes, yes, there is a challenge against speaking up and speaking the truth. I'm not disagreeing with that. 100% agree with that. That is, that is truth. That is happening. What is concerning and what I think a lot of people are missing is that there is also a concerted, um, I'm going to use the word attack, against the heart center right now. And so the, the less oxygen that those lungs receive, the less um, inspiration and expiration of those lungs, right? And just think about that for a minute. Inspiration, to breathe in new to breathe in fresh air, to breathe in relationship with the environment around you, okay? Beautiful thing. To expirate, right, to release the stagnant energy is just as important, right? Because if something sits in the body, you know, if we think about it from a food perspective, the longer that that food sits in the body, the more that it decays, and it's not always great for decaying food to be around. So we want that breath to be clear. We want it to move in and out very clearly. And when it doesn't, it affects our heart. Okay. And so I'm starting to see um, a pattern in the energy around people's hearts right now. And it worries me a little bit. Um, but... We don't need to worry because if we have the awareness that this is happening, then that means we have the ability to change it. So regardless of what your stance is on um, following some of these measures, that's for you to decide. But what's important is that the lungs need to have really deep breath in really deep inspiration, you know, energetically, physically, emotionally, spiritually, we need to get out and drink in the air, drink in the beauty of nature, drink in the freshness that exists out here in this world of ours. And we also equally need to push out that which is no longer needed in our body, that which has come in and cleared us out, cleaned everything up, and it needs to be released. We don't need to hold on to the old. We don't need to hold on to the decay. We don't need to hold on to the poisons. So make sure right now it's really, really important, especially before we hit winter, to please get outside every day and take a couple deep breaths I want you to breathe in as much breath as you can, imagining that it's the first deep breath, you know, the deepest breath that you have taken all week long, maybe all year long. And then I want you to exhale with the mouth open so deeply to push out every last bit of breath in those lungs. Get them clear. Get them clear. So whenever you are outside in nature, breathe in and breathe out. And get those lungs, get that energy flowing. 
And to support that energetically, I've had a few people asking about this in the last week because everyone is feeling the energy, you know, um, whether you're aware of it or not, you're feeling it. To support that, what we need to do is we need to go out and spread love. Okay, we need to use our hearts. We need to use our hearts. And how do you use your heart? You spread love. And how do you spread love? Goodwill. Help your neighbors. Make someone laugh. Visit someone who you know is having a hard day. Leave little gifts for people. You know, if you see a mess, clean it up. But, but let that humanity flow through the heart. Because we need as many people doing that as possible right now. And it's important for you, for your individual health, for your family, but also for everybody else on the planet. Because the more people who can clear this heart energy, the stronger our hearts become, the stronger our heart field becomes, the stronger the electromagnetic connection of humanity and the earth becomes. Because this little donut of energy, this electromagnetic field of energy around our body, guess what? The earth has the exact same one. You know, the earth has a field just like we have a field. So that means we're connected. And when we change our field, guess what? We influence the earth's field and vice versa and vice versa. So we all have a responsibility to do this right now. So give it a try. If you have questions about it, let me know. If you need a little more support, or a little more guidance, please join me on Tuesday nights doing a light runner meditation online. It's free or by donation, so there's no excuses not to be able to attend. Um, and if you can't make it at 6.30, sign up anyway, and I will send you the recording afterwards, and you can listen to it at a time that works for you. So head on over to soulinstitute.ca, and you will find that light runner meditation there. You can sign up for the next one every Tuesday night. Um, let's come together, breathe, feel that heart, clear that heart.